Hello Zwifters, um, just finished, uh, it's Ollie Payne here, just finished a herd Sunday ride, um, it's the Sunday recovery ride and uh, just thought well maybe I'll give the mountain bike a go. Uh, one of the early issues I had was the fact that I've got the kicker climb on my front fork rather than the wheel so I was figuring out how am I going to get that to turn effectively and um, had a look on a few online forums and thought come up the idea of a lazy Susan underneath the, um, the kicker climb. So I'll show you my setup just before we get going on the mountain bike route. As you can see here, my kicker climb on my front fork. And then what I purchased, it was literally seven pounds off Amazon, is a Lazy Susan. And um, I'm just gonna put that under, I'll show you now, me putting it under my um, Wahoo climb. So I'm going to lift up the front fork, place it underneath, and then just place it on the top, like so. And you can see, get a good degree of movement, left and right. Coming up. And you can see my setup here. I've got my iPhone running the Zwift, which is connected to my TV screen via HDMI cable and then I've got a second phone on the centre which is going to run the companion app in order to um, allow the steering to take place so I'm just going to come out of Discord I'm going to find my companion app way too many apps, too many downloads for my kids as well into the app I go so we're on here the quickest way I've found so far to get to um, the actual mountain bike route is, is it using the, the Mer and the Mountain. Um, it takes you through Titan's Grove and then when you get to this point, which you'll see in a minute, it actually gives you the options to go and start the mountain bike route. So just a quick swipe again to show you the climb on the Lazy Susan and how much degree of movement that is giving me. So if I set up now, Hopefully so you can actually see the climb and the um, screen and the turning. I'll go on, get onto the bike in a second and actually get a bit of roll. So this is obviously in its test phase um, and it's something which they may roll out more and more in the future Zwift, but um, let's give it a whirl. So, Literally, it is just down the road from where we are now. On the bike, started pedalling. You can actually see, as I start pedalling, you can see even on the bike that there's a good degree of left and right turn in order, in order to be able to do the mountain bike loop. So let's just get up. Here we are, you can see the option on the screen now. The question mark in the grey box. I select to go right, and in a second, it's going to take me round to the mountain bike route. You should just see it now coming up on the right hand side. Nice little bike, all the mountain bikes you can see wrapped up there, coming off now into it. So, in a second, it'll give me a few, another option to proceed into it should be now let's pick orange so yeah. let's go my bars are centralized yeah. press start give me a countdown i've got a nice new mountain bike and uh, here we go so you can see now if i turn my i'm turning from left to right and it's all nice and fluid actually i get very responsive you can change the sensitivity down on the left hand side there but you can see now I'm using the steering wheel what it will do it will rate you with how good a line you're taking through this section and uh, here we go downhill section turning the bars like that nice and responsive just the right about oh nice line just the right amount of sensitivity back around here I really like this course. 
and actually with the sensitivity in the handlebar turning requires a lot of concentration so the, the route does soon finish but it is be warmed, it is a bit lumpy definitely a good workout here we go, round to the left coming down I'm really pleased with the way this works I hope there's going to be more and more options to go off the road and do some off-roading sections on a mountain bike I think this is a really good new feature which we need to continue developing because it's a lot of fun so that's just the demo, quick demo to show you I think as you can see if I go down you can see as I'm turning the forks it's very very responsive and that lazy Susan has really helped so hope that you find that useful um, and uh, let me know your thoughts on this new feature of Zwift. Thanks.